Good morning, folks. We'll get a bit of space weather, a tragedy in Ecuador, some deep space news, solar system dynamics, and solar forcing of biological conditions. We've had a few more solar flares over the last day, including an impulsive event again this morning. None produced major CMEs, and neither did the release of half the plasma filament incoming on the south. The rest of that filament is heading into Earth-facing position today and tomorrow. We'll have eyes open for any eruptive activity of that one. We'll also be keeping an eye on the solar wind and geomagnetic conditions as a slight solar wind amplification is underway. Don't forget we are also expecting impact from the coronal hole stream at some point within the next 24 hours. Thoughts are going out to Ecuador, where a massive landslide has buried a considerable portion of a town in the mountains. Heavy rainfall in the preceding days sent thousands of tons of mud and trees down the hillside. A lot of people are missing. Let's go to deep space, where we're looking at a galaxy cluster around the spiderweb galaxy. This is one of the earliest detections of plasma reservoirs feeding the formation of these massive structures, once again pushing the limits of how early it is believed these enormous structures existed. The interactions of the plasma were detected in order for them to map the gigantic expanse of the region. Up next, probably the 20th time or so Scafetta has appeared on the show. Here we find yet another proof that planetary geometry subtly controls the 11-year sunspot cycle, and that 11-year cycle also shows up in major cycles of the Earth's climate, kind of a double whammy for the electrodynamics that observers have favored for more than a decade. Last but not least, an excellent paper that not only further investigates the impact of inclement space weather on melatonin, but how that goes on to more severely impact those with COPD and those with diabetes. We have seen dozens of papers on how the sun impacts various physiological parameters, including melatonin, but this is the first look at specifically that impact on these two higher-risk patient populations. Folks, we've got a discount code for our new store to share with you today. Not only is there suspicious observer's gear, but those specifically designed to catch someone's eye and help you start a conversation. Use the promo code MICRONOVA, all capital letters, to get 10% off your order at the store link below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.